Hi everyone, Alvis Syke here. I have a quick video for you today for informational purposes only that I've entitled Why Getting Scared Can Be Fun. And I took this information uh, from medical news today from uh, October 2021, I think it was, um, and um, Harvard Health Publishing from 2023. And uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first of all, it helps to know that you're not in any real danger okay so we're talking about you know like going to a haunted house or you're watching a scary movie or you're going on a roller coaster or something you know along those lines okay um so there's just no real danger but your body is still going to go through some chemical changes so if you get a little hyped up uh you're going to get a an adrenaline rush uh, and then after, you know, you've gone through that feeling of being scared, that sensation, then you're going to have that sense of relaxation uh, afterwards. It's kind of like, okay, okay, I know it really wasn't real or it wasn't in any real danger. And there's that, that relief afterwards. Now, one interesting point uh, that was brought up uh, with the reading that I did is that uh, if you're with another person, then there is this shared experience. Uh, it's really a type of bonding uh, activity. Uh, and in this situation, your your body may release uh, oxytocin, uh, you know, sometimes called the, uh, the love hormone. You know, oxytocin is kind of a, a hormone slash uh, neurotransmitter. It's released during uh, sexual activity. I think it's also released during uh, when uh, the mother is breastfeeding, that sort of thing. So it, it can increase bonding and feelings of trust. Uh, you might also get during this, you're scared, you know, you might also get a, a rush of uh, endorphins or at least uh, endocannabinoids uh, after you've gotten scared. Uh, so like if you're a runner, you've probably experienced um, we might have experienced runner's high, or at least a feeling of relaxation. Well, that's that's the feeling the endocannabinoids have kind of kicked in. And finally, like I, I said earlier, it really helps uh, to know that you're not in any real danger. Now, that's not to say that you wouldn't go through a bonding process with a person you were with if the situation was, was actually dangerous. You know, I'm thinking military personnel here. Uh, but uh, it just wouldn't be fun. And uh, that's it, a little trivia today. Thanks.